Hey, hey, what's, what's going, going on, everyone? It's Al here. I hope you guys, you guys are all having a wonderful day. day. As always, a couple, couple stimulus updates today, so let's get right, get right into it. it. So the, so the Senate, Senate officially presented the stimulus, stimulus bill on, on the Senate floor. floor. Republican, Republican Senator Ron Johnson, Johnson forced, forced the Senate clerks, clerks to read out, out here the, the entire 628 stimulus, stimulus, stimulus bill. bill. This, this took, took a total, total or whopping 10 hours, 10 hours and, and 43 minutes time. time. The Senate, the Senate finished, finished reading the bill, the bill you know, stimulus, stimulus bill out loud on Friday, on Friday morning, morning, essentially, at 2.04 a.m. after 10, 10 hours plus. plus. Senator, Senator Johnson, Johnson said, said that he did this, this in order to educate the American public, public on what, what is inside or what is within the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. package. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham supported Johnson and said that he had no every right to essentially read, read the bill. But Graham, Graham said that he would not be sitting down for the reading. Similarly, Senator Mitt Romney said that he does not, he does, sorry, he does support Senator Johnson. However, he chose not to stay for the reading either. The Senate chamber, chamber was empty except for Senator Johnson, who was just, just on his phone pretty much the entire time. time. The leader of the Democrats in the Senate said that Johnson's move will accomplish a little more than a few sore throats for Senate clerks who worked, who worked hard, hard, very, very hard, day in and day out to help the Senate, Senate function. Senator, Senator Bernie, Bernie Sanders says that, says that good thing, thing we have time during a national emergency to, to be doing this. The Senate, the Senate now will move on to their voter on session, session, where the Senators, Senators can, can essentially vote on changes to the stimulus bill, or proposed changes to the stimulus bill. Then, then the Senators, Senators will vote on these changes on the spot, essentially. The last time the Senate had a voter on the session, it lasted a total of 15 hours, so this is quite lengthy. The Senate leaders expect the voter on the session to end by tomorrow, Saturday. The leaders of the Senate, the leader of the Senate, Chuck Schumer, said that the Senate will stay in session and pass the stimulus bill this weekend, no matter how long it takes. After that, the stimulus bill will go back to the House of Representatives, where they will vote on it once again. Once the House passes it, it will go to Biden. The stimulus bill goes to Biden for him to sign off on the bill so that way it becomes a part of law. For the third stimulus checks, the income eligibility requirements will be tightened, as I've been saying. The progressive Democrats in the House of Representatives are saying that they are upset because less people will receive the stimulus checks. But they will, however, still continue to support the bill. The White House said that a total of 158 million Americans will still be receiving stimulus checks. The National Economic Council says that 98% of households that received previous stimulus checks will also still qualify for a third stimulus check, so pretty much more than the majority. This Friday morning, it was stated that federal unemployment benefits, however, will change in the stimulus bill. It was supposed to be for $400 per week in unemployment aid, but they are now lowering this to $300 per week but making the first $10,200 in benefits tax-free for the years 2020 and 2021 because so many people were hit with a surprise in their tax bill. It was supposed to be extended, you know, the unemployment aid until the, you know, August, but now they are extending it until September. The House representatives passed the election reform bill, which changes voting rules. So essentially, the Four People Act will require all states to offer mail-in ballots, Things like providing 15 days of early voting, offer same-day re voter registration, enable automatic voter registration, and make the election day a national holiday. The Republicans are saying that this will cause widespread vote voter fraud because the system may enroll people that wouldn't normally take part. The Republican House leader, Kevin McCarthy, said that this you know, would make things much more difficult for the government to verify the accuracy of voter information, and Democrats... They just don't care. Voting is a right, not a mandate. Those are the words of House Leader Kevin McCarthy. The Republicans are claiming that this is a Democrat power grab, and it will open the door up to fraud. The Democrats, however, are saying that this bill is needed to create uniform rules and to make it more voting more accessible. The bill passed the House with a vote of 220 to 210, and it will now advance to the Senate. Alabama has been removing their, or will be removing their mask mandates in April. 80 million Americans have now been vaccinated in total. 
The, the jobs, jobs report, report released, released this Friday morning at 8.30 a.m. shows that the U.S. added 379,000 jobs up from the 210,000 jobs expected to be added in the month of February. Hopefully, as always, you enjoy the video. I thank, thank you all so much for your continued support. support. I do appreciate it tremendously. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Comment down below. Till next time. Peace.